you can. There, there's a reason why there's not too many foot chases with Steven oh, Seagal yeah. because this oh. dude he really does have a silly ass run. <laughs> That, that fool runs like he's in the Special Olympics. He, <laughs> he's got to run. I mean, and it's a it's a you know bad thing to say, especially these days. But he runs like a girl. He does. And, he does. And, and, and he he whips his arms around like this when he runs. He runs like a listen. I'll take like, you. You may make fun of Tom Cruise chopping wind, right. but that's at least aerodynamic. Okay. Right. This <laughs> I tried to do everything I could not to go there, but since you went there, I'll take you one. I'll take you one further. <laughs> okay. He run like a gay man. <laughs> Either run from a running from a fight or running to a fight. Get off my man! <laughs> I'ma get you, bitch. <laughs> they got scenes where he he runs like a toddler that was pushed down a hill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that look like a little four year old. Yeah, it's like somebody pushes. It looks like you know when you were a kid and you yeah. start running down the hill. You're yeah, like, yeah. Well, this is steeper than I thought. This is steeper than I thought. Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, when you were like four or five years old, you ran down a hill, lost your momentum. Yeah, you see, you lost your balance. Yeah, look like a toddler running down a hill. <laughs> <laughs> December 8th, that's a Friday. Oh, my man has been on deadly grounds. <laughs> he has made some executive decisions, not for long. <laughs> oh, he's even suffered a few exit wounds. But this time, I'm sounding like those people who introduce these movies. Yeah. But, yeah. but this time, Steven Seagal is marked. For death. In a bad mood. I thought I was gonna say in a bad movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is where he <laughs> this is where he goes up against some supernatural Jamaicans. <laughs> it's a ma magical mystery. <laughs> uh, 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 my sister, so, goddess of fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. boy, they, they pushed that voodoo angle a lot further than I thought they were going to. I was like, oh, we're really doing this. No, okay. it's, it's, it's kind of real yeah. in the movie. Yeah. Like, I thought they were just kind of faking it. Like, there was just some brother who just believed in it. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> chicken bones. Shit, and just... these really magical, man. <laughs> oh, no, for real. Man, you know, shit, they magical, delicious, man. And he's joined with Keith David. This time he's a man, you know, like all these movies with cops, you know, he's. He's uh he's he's had enough. He doesn't see a change that he's making in the world, so he's he's trying to get out of it for a little while to figure out what, what he wants to do with his life. But because he's a badass at what he does, of course he gets pulled back in. Otherwise, we wouldn't get all this good Steven Seagal action right here. Um, in this one, he goes back home just to rest up. And they say uh, uh, decompress from. Uh, from a job that is very hard. He's almost been killed several times. Sure. He killed several people. He's been deep cover. Deep, deep, deep cover. Yeah, man. <laughs> so now he's like, you know what? I'm out. I, I don't know what I can, what more I can do. I need a break. He goes home and uh, things are going well. But when you know that the this small white town is overrun by Jamaicans. <laughs> <laughs> Jamaican drug dealers. The Jamaican drug oh, dealers. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? For some reason, with this white girl, they figure like little white girls love crack. <laughs> so they, <laughs> so they, they, go to this, they go to this town. They just tear this town up, man. Them and the Puerto Ricans go there. They oh, just, shit. Yeah, they just got it. Yeah, they just put this little white town to crossfire, man. So Steven Seagal, along with his buddy, Keith David, they have to save the day, man. Movie starts out, I'll tell you this, starts out action packed, man. You know, they, right off the bat. They, <laughs> they literally hit the ground running, man. <laughs> uh, it starts out with Steven Seagal chasing another badass, uh, Daddy Trejo. I know. I thought I saw him in the trail. Yeah. And the funny thing is like, you've never seen him young. And you're like, wait, yeah. he's young. Yeah, I didn't know that was him at first. He's young, he's got a thin right there. Mm -hmm. uh, and that, it, so of course, Seagal is chasing Danny Trejo because it's a Seagal's movie. But I tell you, uh, both of them are being dicks about it, man, <laughs> because they're doing that thing where they're just knocking shit over and pushing people oh, for yeah. nothing. I mean, just, 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 just doing it because it just looks cool. Man, that dude, yeah, 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 that was, you weren't even going in that direction. That dude was not remotely in his way at all, man. He just, he went out his way to push that guy. Yeah. The hell would you get out my way? <laughs> Stupid ass hat. <laughs> you saw me running. He's looking in the other direction and pushed him. Yeah. Yeah, did, didn't care at all, man. Just just did it because it looks cool to push people when you run in an action scene. <laughs> I mean, he hopped on his ass. Yeah. That's how much this man wasn't in his way. He jumped on him. He changed his trajectory. Yes, he, he did. Go, oh, somebody he else sure got did. Pushed. 
Look at him. He leaped on this guy. You can. There, there's a reason why there's not too many foot chases with Steven oh, Seagal. Yeah. Because this oh. dude, he really does have a silly ass run. <laughs> That, that fool runs like he's in the Special Olympics. He, <laughs> he's got to run. I mean, and it's a it's a you know bad thing to say, especially these days. But he runs like a girl. He does. And, he does. And, and he he whips his arms around like this when he runs. He runs like a listen. I'll take like, you. You may make fun of Tom Cruise chopping wind, right. but that's at least aerodynamic. Okay. Right. This. <laughs> I tried to do everything I could not to go there, but since you went there, I'll take you one. I'll take you one further. <laughs> okay. He run like a gay man. <laughs> Either running from a running from a fight or running to a fight. Get off my man! <laughs> I'm gonna get you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> running like he's swatting gnats and shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> you show it right. There. It's every single time he runs. Every but single fact, scene. You can tell when they put in a stunt man because that stunt man was, 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 stunt man was like a normal person. Because whenever it's him, <laughs> they got scenes where he he runs like a toddler that was pushed down a hill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that look like a little four year old? Yeah. You like somebody pushes. <laughs> you like, you know when you were a kid and you yeah. start running down the hill? You're yeah. like, yeah. it's steeper than I thought. It's steeper than I thought. Oh shit, oh shit. Yeah, when you were like four or five years old, you ran down a hill and lost your momentum. Yeah, you lost your balance. Yeah, it looked like a toddler running down a hill. <laughs> I don't know why, but he just starts playing tag with people. Like, look, watch this. Tag, you're in. Tag. Tag. <laughs> He's running through the tag at people, man. I can't, I can't get a beat on it. It's so bizarre the way yeah. he runs. It's yeah, crazy. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. Like, like a curve in his spine and this, and the legs. Yeah. After he's done running all goofy, now he wants to be, now he wants to be a tough guy. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> this fool, he loves slapping people. Did <laughs> yes, you notice he this? Does, this yeah. fool just loves slapping people. Either slapping people or grabbing them by the face. I can understand Danny Trejo. When he catches Danny Trejo, he goes straight for his face, man. But I get it, he, he spent all day running like after his ass. Did you talk to anybody, oh, oh, huh? Oh, oh. Did you make a phone call? And love grabbing the head, like he could just he could just lay him in or push him into the trunk. No, you got to grab him by his top of his head and shove his ass in there. <laughs> <laughs> grab him by the face. Okay, that's that, that's the perp. That's the criminal, Danny Trejo. But then he t he, he gets slap happy. <laughs> slap happy. Yeah, he, yeah, just, he, he does. He just into it because he turns around, looks at his partner. They're just having a conversation, and he's slapping the shit out of him. Since when did anybody ever accuse me of being insane? Right, come on, give me some. Right, come on, Damn, God, man. Yes. Hey, come on, what the? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mo. <laughs> you were you in love with three Scooters yeah, shit? Yeah, Goddamn! Yeah. What the hell is wrong with you, man? <laughs> we're on the same yeah, yeah. side, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, God. Shit. Who the hell you think you are? Treat me, treat me like I'm your little brother. Or something. <laughs> yeah. Going, all right. Come, come on, Nasco, get, right. get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> this job that he's on, where he's trace, where he was chasing a uh, trail, Jen, Danny Trejo, man. So uh, it's, it's for, you know, of course, what drug deal. I'm probably doing something with the cartel. But it was, what I laughed about with this is that the, this takes place at one of the worst strip clubs in Mexico. <laughs> well, she dancing like her panties too tight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it takes I don't know, it seems like a pretty good one to me. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I mean, her ass is nice, but I don't know what the hell. She can't dance, I'll tell you that much. Look at this. Yeah, that's not really a I, requirement. I, I'll tell you what, she she dances like Steven Seagal runs. <laughs> Stupid. And I, it, the thing is, is that, you know, maybe her, you know, maybe just, they just, this is just a cheap ass strip club because ain't nobody got no talent here. Because they got, they got the stripper pole in there. And I'm going to give her, I, I, I was gonna give her the benefit of the doubt. I said, maybe, and maybe her talents, they're not dancing. Maybe they're on the pole. Nah. Yeah, she's. Yeah, she, put, she sure did. Yeah. She put one leg over like, nah, that's all right. Nah. No, nah. and, and, and one way I'm like, you know what? She just can't dance. She's just a suck ass stripper. But on a, but but on the other hand, that roll is that that pole is rusty as hell. Oh God! Man. I mean, you can look look how brown that yeah. <laughs> that pole is right there. <laughs> that pole's a nine 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 nine. This like man's trying to look past today. Yeah. No oh, hell yeah. <laughs>
Is she fine though, Lisa? Oh, yeah, yeah, she's fine. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, she's fine. She, she dancing then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, good. Then you could. <laughs> yeah, all those acrobatics on the pole. I was like, well, that's nice for you. I don't do that. Yeah, I like the way this man is like trying to look past the digitization, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, fake ass Humphrey Bogart right yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, like, it's like old school porno that would <laughs> oh, hell yeah. phase in ever so often. Uh, <laughs> now, this is where I get. I get confused, man. Uh, Cause they they, I, they went in and they start talking to uh, what I assume is the cartel boss. Careful is good with me, amigo. Careful never kill nobody. Is that right? Stupid, <laughs> stupid kills. Me entiendes? this. So he talking some shit. So I got thinking that was the cartel boss. But then I guess the, uh, S- Steven Seagal must have parked in somebody's spot or parked in. The- <laughs> Parked illegally because somebody went to his trunk and pulled, and pulled Danny Trejo out. Hey, Colonel. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, I, I love it because he looked genuinely surprised. I don't know what they said. They propped up because that's his best act. Oh, yeah. He's like, he did a double take. Oh, He's like, did I, did I not lock that shit? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> when they see Danny Trejo, this dude who I thought was a henchman or, uh, you know, a, a, a lieutenant. He turns around and does this. <laughs> I was like, okay, yeah. <laughs> shit. I, yeah. I don't even know who this guy is. Right. The thing is, none of us really know who this dude is, man. It, this dude it's just, unclear, <laughs> no, to it's, say the least. It's very unclear. This dude just comes in and just starts talking shit. It's just yeah. like, wait a minute, man. You just, wait, who, who are you? Introduce yourself <laughs> first. Yeah, he just starts talking shit to Steven Seagal like he's been in charge the whole time, which I guess he is now. <laughs> there is no more money. Oh, you gotta be more money. And see, this is funny oh, because, shit. you know, this this scene is meant. This scene is meant just to show how none of this matters. It doesn't matter who the boss is. It doesn't matter what the what the what the deal is. They just set up this this scene here just to show you how badass Steven, Steven Seagal, Seagal is. Mm-hmm. The whole thing is like he's such a badass that even when he's in a room surrounded by guns and big ass knives. You know, don't make the mistake of getting too close to him. Because if somebody gets too close to him, he'll snatch all them guns and knives away from everybody. People get their arms and heads chopped off. There is no more money. Oh, you gotta be more money. That's a sword, goddammit. <laughs> well, whatever. He snatched yeah, yeah, that yeah, shit. And, and cut his hand off with it. And cut his hand off. He snatched a sword and a gun. That's how bad Steven Seagal hey, is man, right there. You're going to pull a gun on somebody. Don't, don't, don't pull get, it out if you're not going to use it. Also, don't get all up on them. Oh, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Shit. It's a long range weapon. Yeah. You yeah. make it ineffective by getting that close. And you probably ask, well, why don't the rest of the guys shoot him? Because oh. he's too busy getting the out. Like, yeah. <laughs> like this dude, this dude right here. Oh, yeah. He's running like a. You know what? Y'all got it. <laughs> and, <laughs> y'all got it. I'm out this bitch. And you're right. No matter what part of the body Steve is going to hit you on, it's all going to sound like a bonk. It's <laughs> like they're hitting a the coconut. <laughs> yeah, it does. But his head just hollow. Oh. And Seagal, you know, he, as you can see, he's always got to be set up to be the, ba- the you know, the, the biggest yes. badass in the room. Right. Also, he, he, they also make his partner dumber so he can look cooler, mm-hmm. I guess, because his partner just stupid, man. <laughs> I mean, like, maybe a lot of guys would be stupid in this situation, but I mean, I mean he's extra dumb. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Por favor, no más, no más. Oh man! And Mike, when that happens, you go. He deserved it. He deserved it. Yeah. Like, why the hell did you look away, man? I, I think what happened was was this. I think. Por favor, no más, no más. I think it's like, hey man, come look at this fat ass hole. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so after a violent experience like that, you know, you really need to talk to someone, man. And as much as I wish. As much as I wish I had a better help ad right now, I don't. You don't? I don't. Believe me, I'll look for one, too. I thought, I thought for sure that's what that was. Man, I was about to call them up and ask them, please let me do one right now. But I I, I don't have one. I don't have one. I wish I had a better help ad, but I don't. And, and, and if anybody needs it, it's Steven Seagal. But instead of better help, he goes to, he goes to confession. Oh, yeah. Boy, and this confession cracked me up, man. I've lied. I've slept with informants. I did whatever I had to do to get the bad guys. I'm like, man, this ain't no confession. This is bragging. That's what I was just right. going to say. Yeah. 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 I fucked some bad yeah. bitches. Yeah. Well, I, well, I whooped well. some ass. Yeah. Yeah. I did all kinds of good drugs. Wasn't <laughs> nobody able to touch me. Yeah. Man, I got a lot of pussy, man. Yeah. So much pussy reason for You should see these bitches. 
Yeah. Yeah. Like the priest is like, okay, t tell me more yeah, yeah. details, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, I had some good drugs too, boy. Man, I get, shit, I'm high right now. <laughs> I'm as bad as my force. I gotta confess that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I got a dude locked in my trunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Danny Chango's still in my <laughs> trunk right now. I got some nice threads, father. <laughs> I had to confess that as well. I got huge ass dick. <laughs> hey, yeah. have, have you seen my pony too? <laughs> Touch it. Private jet. <laughs> yeah. Man, boy, Bitches all day long. Shit, probably no even probably no priest was easy even in there. Yeah, he was there talking <laughs> he to himself. Talking to himself. Yeah, yeah. Um, like why are you telling me? I'm telling everybody. Yeah. Yeah. But see, even, but he even plays it as an actor like he's bragging. He yeah, doesn't yeah. play it like, no, I did this, I did that. He's like, man, let me tell you what I did. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, <laughs> man, yeah, you better, yeah, hold on to your, <laughs> put on to your frock. Man, the hell you all I beat everybody's ass. Had a lot, speaking of ass, I had a lot of ass. <laughs> Yeah, boy. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. You want some of this for me? Yeah, you yeah. good shit. Yeah. You make sure to get that. Yeah. I slept with a lot of informants. Yeah. 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 Hey, you listen? Yeah. Hey, hello? Yeah. Well, anyway. Yeah. Well, anyway. Yeah. Fuck yeah. it. Like, fuck it. Like, Snore. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, what was I? Put that point up there. To catch you on this shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To talk to himself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you live a life that good, man, you know, that's, that's sometimes it's too much of a good thing. So now you get that part. This, this movie's so cliche, man. I know. It's so cliche, man. They had, so if the if if they don't have the scene where the 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 chief is yelling at somebody, mm -hmm. they have the they have the scene where the cop is like, "I'm out. I don't need it. I don't need any more of this." Oh, you don't mean that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, need yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need you, Steve. Don't do this to me. <laughs> I need you, John. <laughs> I need you. I need you. I mean, my man came in quick and he said that. I need you, John. I need you, John. <laughs> he got up in his face. I suck your dick. I need you, John. <laughs> my man, this is funny because my man was begging him to stay. Now, look what happened when he leaves. He, oh, he. <laughs> you did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's like, he's about to go grab a gun. <laughs> I said, stay. <laughs> you turn your back on me, John. We, go we got another other agents. So. <laughs> so he does go home. You know, he says, I, I I do need to rest a little bit, get out the action. So he goes home to rest and decompress, see his sister, see his mom, who I don't know, maybe it's just a pervert in me, but it seemed like, they, I, mean, I know ain't nothing going on, but the movie makes it seem like they a little too close with each other. Yeah. Let me look at you. You look great. Well, you look like Melissa now, huh? <laughs> 20 years younger. Thank you. That's all right. I'm so tired. We've come to the right place to rest. <laughs> but she ain't believed yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's his mom. Yeah, that's, yeah. A fake, that's his mother, right? Yeah. In the movie. It does not come off as a right? mother son relationship. And I mean, not even the creepy factor. It's like, it's like he just looks like this lady that maybe he grew up next to that he hadn't seen in a while. There's no yeah, warmth there. Yeah, yeah. Like that. I mean, all, you know what I mean? All the, all the friend of the mom that he he was like, right, or wanted to. A, a teenager. Yeah, no, you're right, you're right. Yeah. 20s. Look at yeah. Melissa now. now. Who's Melissa? Yeah, I don't. They don't explain that. Don't nobody know. <laughs> Even the chat's talking about mother. What the hell? What the yeah. hell? Anyway, it's funny because when he goes up to his room, it still looks like the same room from high school. Oh, it, does. it looks like the same high school room that he was in. Got the jersey back there, except for this rack of guns. He had oh, back. come on, man! <laughs> he probably had those in high school. He should, yeah, he should have. <laughs> he was on, on target to be a school shooter, and then, but they recruited him to be a cop. <laughs> Tomorrow's the day. Yeah. Ring. Well, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, it's funny, boy. Look, he still got his jersey back there. He got there. his jersey, his old trophies. Yeah. yeah. It's a badass group in high school, though. For some and, reason, he got a picture of flowers back there. And, and the, looking at that pointed uh, ceiling. It's the attic. It's the attic, yeah. Yeah, yeah he looking like Greg Brady or something. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, also, I mean, between, it's a, it's a mixture of things. It's still shit from high school, uh, from, you know, he put guns up there. And also, his Vietnam pictures with his, well, with his, with his buddy, uh, Keith David that he went yeah. to Vietnam with. When I they guess. were 35. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shit, that, shit. Man, that was taken yesterday. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. They went to Vietnam when they were 35 years old. Shit, they went to, they went to a set that looked like Vietnam. <laughs> so he, back in town, that dude in the picture, Keith David. So he comes back into town and reconnects with him, catches him at the high school he's working at. Uh, and what is probably the, the, the running is the goofiest part of the movie. Uh, this right here is probably the second goofiest part of the movie. And I heard you were shot dead in the streets of Bangkok. Well, I was in Bangkok. I, I was there. But uh, I didn't get shot if that's all right with you. He's like, well, did you get knocked on the head? Because <laughs> you goofy. <laughs> yeah. goofy. Yeah.
<laughs> or you got street, shallow streets of Bangkok. Well, clearly I did. Okay, yeah. let's move on. Yeah. That, is, that, that speaks of, that reeks of two things. I can't remember my lines, and I'm in, <coughs> I'm in a scene with an actual actor. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, he goes, I'm, I don't know, maybe Steven Seagal, I know he's got an ego, but you can tell he's intimidated right oh, now. He, I'm like, just looking at this, and I'm thinking like, okay, yeah. now, now I see why you act tough all the time, because once you let your guard down, you goofy as hell. <laughs> now, I'm back now. I was in Bangkok. I was there, but uh, I didn't get shot if that's all right with you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? If you had like a <laughs> with me, that'd be great. Laughing all goofy. I didn't, I didn't say nothing funny, man. <laughs> He's just like, all right, come on, Steven. We're friends in the scene, me and him. How would you act if you actually had a friend? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 so my man is back home, back home with his friends, back home with his mom. <laughs> Goofy as yeah, hell. It's like, did you got a place to live? Yeah. I guess he, oh, he went back to his old town. Yeah, right? yeah he went okay. back to his old town. He okay. went back home to, so he no, he mama. went back home to, to, uh, to rest up, recuperate. Right, but not yeah. where he works. But no, not no, where he works. So he no, he went back mama. home with okay. mom to get a home cooked meal with HelloFresh, right? Uh, <laughs> People, oh, can I take a moment? Shit. Can, it's like the smell of ozone in the air, right before a lightning strike. I'm like, no. something's coming. So, what's he doing? Yeah. <laughs> what's he doing, man? I'm telling you something good. Uh-huh. Telling you about this. And you know, now that my uh-huh. man is back home, mom can cook him a home cooked meal with Hello Fresh. But the thing is, he ain't got to depend on mom no more. Because anybody, even goofy ass Steven Seagal, he can make a meal with Hello Fresh. I'm not so sure. <laughs> yeah. <I don't> know. <laughs> after, <laughs> after this, I'm like. I didn't get shot if that's all right with you. No, I'll keep him at the kitchen. He's going to burn that thing. He's going to burn that house down, man. But but you won't with HelloFresh. And listen, I want to tell you about HelloFresh right now. It's November. You know when November hits, everybody's thinking about one thing. December. And then, <laughs> you, you know how it is. Ain't thinking about all the stuff they got to do. All the money they got to spend. All the cooking they got to do. Don't have to worry about that with HelloFresh now. The holidays around the corner. HelloFresh would take the stress out of making that dinner. Some of y'all having family, some of y'all having parties, and HelloFresh is there to help by helping you cook up a nice, tasty meal <coughs> with the ingredients delivered right to your door. And I'll show you the menu right here. <clears throat> Look at that, folks. Look at all those delicious meals. Mm-mm. They send the ingredients pre-portioned out, fresh to your door, and all you got to do is cook. Well. Or I don't know how to cook. And, and plus, listen, you're talking about time. Ain't nobody got time to be cooking right now. You just told me how hard it's going to be. That's the thing with HelloFresh, man. HelloFresh, they have 15-minute meals that you can do that will actually take you exactly 15 minutes. You can make 30-minute meals uh, if you want to, a little, you know, a little more time. But it's up to you, man, what you want to do. You depend on your schedule. Also... You can see all those choices that they got right there. They have 45 weekly recipes and over 100 curated picks to choose from from the HelloFresh market. You know, we're talking about HelloFresh like that's just for dinner. No, it is not. I'm tired of this misconception with HelloFresh. That is not the deal. You know, with HelloFresh, you can have breakfast, quick lunches, get snacks. Hey, listen, if you got a holiday party coming up, let HelloFresh help you with that. They even got desserts. Ooh. Desserts that are seasonal. They also have things like charcuterie boards, if you're into the cheeses and such. You know something? Here's one thing that's really going to, because I'm talking to you right now, and you know you're thinking about this, but one thing that's really going to push you over. Hey, how about getting breakfast for life? That's breakfast right. For life. I said breakfast for life. If you go to HelloFresh.com slash Double Toasted Free and use the code Double Toasted Free, You'll get free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box whilst the subscription is active. And that is free breakfast for life if you get HelloFresh.com slash Double Toasted Free and put in that code, Double Toasted Free. And as long as you got that subscription, you get that breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while the subscription is active. You heard it. It's true. All you got to do is do it. So sign up for that and... I want to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of the show, America's number one meal kit, and I also want to thank all of you out there for your support. Thank you. Now, <clears throat> let's get back to where we were. So, with him going back into town 
Everybody think, well, damn, I guess he's going to just lay around all day. Now, this is where <laughs> eating Hello Fresh. No, this is where. Uh, That's what he like, thought. That's that what he thought, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, this is where the this is where we get into the story. So uh, at the high school that that uh, 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 Keith David works at, uh, Steven Seagal's friend, John's character in the movie, uh, you know, he's a coach at this school. But also just hanging out in the middle of the day right on campus is Jamaicans just selling crack to white girls <laughs> it's in the Small, middle of the, man. In, the, in the middle of the day man just chilling <laughs> just I selling mean, crack to white girls yeah and they just chilling like they students like they like they go there and then they make them want to love all the time you know I'll all try. the time sure thing pretty girl go and put it right up to your lips Look, and my man look like he's trying to fit in. Got a leather jacket on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I mean. Ooh, camouflage. People, yeah. yeah. In the middle of the daytime, lighting up crack. You're smoking crack with white Pri- people. Principal white ain't kids. called nobody. Police ain't, police ain't came up. With no, just kids. with white kids, man. Yeah. With white girls. Yeah. Well, yo, you, they, 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 they <laughs> blown them Negroes away, boy. Yeah, yeah. And you know you're trying to hit on them white girls. Too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, trying oh, to get he, them high. Yeah. He's got the drugs. Like, the, the, the dude that's there who came with one of the girls th- yeah. thinking he's going to get something, like, nah. No, nah, hell no. Nah. Shit, he's making them took over now. Nah. He'll be making that same face yeah. and nobody's going to be there. <laughs> yeah. Got these girls high. <laughs> People <laughs> on campus, hanging, three in the afternoon, smoking crack. With these girls like this, and okay. ain't nobody said a goddamn thing. Nope. He got a leather jacket on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he know what he's doing. Yeah, oh. I got to go to algebra class. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the real. only one that seems to give a shit is Keith Davis' character. He hates him so much that he once he looks at them, he can't he can't take his eyes off of them. Get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. So maybe he's looking at them white girls over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, trying to get that bitch out. Uh, maybe yeah. she's trying to, maybe looking at that crack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Since no one is doing anything uh, about this, the Jamaicans become a big problem in, <laughs> in the city. They start, they start making the news on a regular basis. Jamaican gangs known as posses are now dominating the American drug trade. They do this with their friends, known as homies. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> now this is the '90s, so you know they the posse's was a new word. She, she's saying like she ain't never heard it before. Yeah. So what, here's the thing: the the writers they actually did research. Like there was news stories about Jamaican gangs in the suburbs, and those oh, these, wow. and, the, and the writers like sometimes they were called posse's, but they mostly call yardies. Yeah. And those yeah. and those, mm-hmm. those two writers they went to Jamaica to study all this and the voodoo and everything. So this movie, as dumb as it is, it's slightly more accurate than you you would think it is on the surface. Yeah, they do call them yardies in England too, in London. The yeah, big yeah, yeah. Gangs that are yeah. Called yardies. Well, oh, accurate might be a stretch. I, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. I just like it's more factual, but it, it's just goofy how they play it. Jamaican yeah. gangs would take over. Well, they didn't say Negroes. they take it over. They were just they, <laughs> they were just there. Yeah, yeah, just yeah like, they. <clears throat> no, they, they. They they are a problem, man. You know. <laughs> They know these, these dudes are. They, they, I mean, they, they, you think you try to move in slowly or keep a low profile? No. No, they are bold. So people just trying to dance badly at the bar, you know, mind on business. Oh, man, they're going in the green shirt. Yeah, look, shit, look, oh, yeah. Boys, look at you. Look at, look at the black dude back there. I see him. Look, look at him. He lived in this white town too long. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. The box, too. Yeah, man. <laughs> So these many people just trying to dance terribly at a bar, mind on business. And these Jamaicans, I mean, they don't give a shit. They hear that there's an enemy there, or somebody they don't like, they come in blasting. Fire! Or maybe they just didn't like the way they were dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah. Stop You're more dancing. <laughs> da, da. <laughs> die, die, die. And they, they, you know, I'd give them this. The they don't that I, I think I'm looking at this correctly. They they did not hit an, uh, uh, an innocent bystander when they <coughs> when they came when they come in. They are zero targeted on who they want to blast. Mm. I mean they <laughs> they caught one dude. They caught him against the wall. He had nowhere to go. He gonna try to shoot back, and they lit his ass up. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> he tried to fall. Got him there. Pick you back. <laughs> she tried to throw himself over them plants. I know. I know. It's almost like they say, like, it'd be great if you could throw yourself over the rail. Yeah, I, I couldn't do it. Yeah, I couldn't yeah. do it. <laughs> <laughs> put the put your ass back there. Put your ass back there. Put your ass back there. 
<laughs> you going? Yeah. Because <laughs> Keith, Keith David gets mad. I like. I love it when Keith David gets mad in the movie. I think it's so serious, you know. He's, yeah. Keith David has always sound like somebody's daddy, even when he was like. He's mad in every movie. He's mad in every <laughs> movie. He, he was mad in our interview. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, this is him. <laughs> this is him talking to me in the interview. My 13 year old nephew died in the crack house run by these guys. Well, that cut it for me. I'm sorry. Look, I've had it. <laughs> <laughs> no, he told me that was you. That was you. Look, I've had it. <laughs> well, well yeah, I just want to ask you about. It. Look, I've had it. <laughs> and, and you're just trying to like sit there, like, okay, man, I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> Shit, this is him looking at me in the yeah. right now. Uh, so of course they these Jamaicans attack the attack the bar that Seagal and Keith David are in. Oh, the, why, why the two they most that? deadly dudes. Yeah, know. You know, what a coincidence. Uh and you could tell it's the same bar by this fake ass shot right here that was done like, you know, two days ago before. Hormones in here. Oh yeah. <laughs> he, he like, y'all, you know ain't we ain't in, in this scene right now. Right, right. What is this hosing <laughs> you? Yeah, it's, I think some. No, I forgot what he said. I couldn't hear. Oh, I thought he but said you could tell this scene was shot like at a totally different time. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And the rest of this, there ain't nobody in that bar. Well, there's nobody in the bar. The lighting's different. Yeah. Um, uh, just, just the the mood, the atmosphere is. Different. The atmosphere is different. It's clearly just those two in the scene they yeah. shot by themselves. Yeah. yeah, they shot this 48 hours before this other scene. Right, because they're like, we don't got no time for no extra yeah. right now. Just shoot. This. Uh, that's a reshoot, probably. Yeah, he was like, y'all buying this shit. <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to be friends. Yeah. Yeah. Big ass leather jacket. He's like, yeah. he's, like, he's like, oh my God, it's the last day of shooting. Too. I can't wait to get ready for this. No acting ass. <laughs> what, what, what's, what's he even looking at? Look at him. Yeah, they attack the same bar that they're in. So, of course, you know, they get their asses whooped. One Jamaican got his ass whooped so bad, he just started talking gibberish. Hey, boy, somebody I'm going to death tonight. He went from Jamaica, Jamaica to Africa. <laughs> he just he, he caught his head. he caught his head. He didn't know what to say. He was like, "Oh shit! Who do me the whoop the booby? Just don't mess up my new leather jacket." Why? Somebody, I'm gonna death tonight. I would not I wouldn't. Whoop the booby! He was like, he was like, he was about to say, "Whoa! Whoop the do <laughs> like he thought it was his friend. I quit playing. Oh, what did he do? What did he do? Shit, he caught his. He was gonna say something. <laughs> something. Shit, there was. Out, she came out, baby, talking. Yeah, <laughs> he got to get the fuck back in him. He crushed that hand. He didn't know what the. Yeah. Boobity, boobity. <laughs> I mean, maybe Seagal crushed his hand for real, and I just made him forget his life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's been known to do that too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ibbity bibbity. <laughs> yeah, ibbity my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about ibbity bibbity shit. <laughs> ibbity bobbity. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That fool uh, said rubbity boobity. <laughs> it's somebody I'm gonna death tonight. Bro, I would not I would not It's not like he was about to start scatting. Ribbity bobbity bibbity bobbity bobbity. Boys and boys and bobbity. <laughs> Turn in a cab, Callaway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, who would he do? Ibbity bibbity. He saw that that dude at a Liberty Mutual commercial. Oh, yeah. Ibbity bibbity. Ibbity Mutual. Liberty bibbity. Yeah. Cut. Now they got to retaliate. He chose to get involved. <laughs> I mean, I got, I got some. They say, so take his house. They say, we got some Ibbity bibbity shit for you. <laughs> Now, this is the point, this is the part of the movie where they gotta make it personal. Cause before the whole time he's been like, hey, leave these guys alone. Yeah, you know, we ain't, we ain't gonna make girl. a difference. You know, let that bitch smoke crack, you know? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Who they hurting? You know, he just, he goes through the whole movie, the half yeah, the movie talking about yeah. telling Keith David, man, yeah, what, listen, we, we, we stopped them, another takes their place. Hey, let's go get a beer. So, but now, now they made it personal and also they made it personal for the audience because uh, in a movie, you don't shoot a little white girl. Well, maybe a dog is more important. <laughs> but yeah, 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 you yeah. know, but but a little white girl comes in very close second. Johnny! They hurt my baby! <laughs> She's like, look, like, mama just take me to the hospital. I, I, I'm like, Steven Seagal is a terrible actor. But he is not as bad as this. I, see, yeah, I was yeah, like, I, I had to stop it. I was like, oh my God, what what just happened here? What did I just see. hear and see? That's his niece, I guess? Yeah, yeah. that's his niece. Uh, that was horrible. That's horrible. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> like what they done to my baby. Yeah. No, <laughs> they really massacred my boy. That's not a little girl. That's a script you carry right now. <laughs> yeah, that's been Shit, those are the lines that you made. Those are the lines that you mangled right there. <laughs> Look what I did to these lines. He was doing skull turn like. I know I'm bad as <laughs> shit. <Yeah. laughs> Daddy, you look, good. look what I did to this dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> you hear a writer cry. <laughs> Johnny! Jesus. What? They hurt my baby. Cooper <laughs> <laughs> the little girl looks up like this. Are you Serious? Right that little girl is running hot right now. Yeah, she is like, take, she's that girl is, like, that, that girl, like, that right now, that girl's thinking, Jesus Christ. I think she's a big child at the kid at the two, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm sure she's happy. Like, <laughs> I'm glad I get my death scene out of the way. Side note, I think that's the house from Lethal Weapon. Is it? The one that used for uh, really? Danny Glover's oh, okay. but go ahead. <laughs> it's like, God damn, that is the worst thing I've ever like, seen. You did not do this little girl justice. <laughs> yeah. Can't nobody take this little dead girl seriously now. Exactly. They hurt my baby. <laughs> yeah, girl. You know, that little girl wants to laugh so hard. Yeah, she right now. <laughs> she's, like, she's like, oh my God. God damn. Just drop me. Jesus. Just drop me. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, don't want to be so I mean, if you're not going to call the ambulance, just drop yeah. me. Yeah. Jeez, when, when am I going to work prof- with, with professionals? <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I got Stephen Skull in one ear. Damn. I got this bitch over here. I ain't got yeah. no scenes with Keith. Jesus, my my agent is so fired. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess she does. <laughs> no, actually, no. that's the thing. No, she's a little white girl. They're going to kill her, man. Well, they got to make sure you know they hurt her, baby, yeah. and not kill yeah. her. No, that's the thing. No, they got to hurt her so they can. the audience can make it feel like it's personal now. <laughs> uh, they can be made to feel like it's personal for them. Sure. But no, they make sure that you know that she ain't dead. In fact, they put in a hospital with a cartoon bandage around her head. <laughs> <laughs> At first, it was like, he, he pulls that back and like, oh, shit, she must be really hurt. Then he walks away. Oh, yeah, man, yeah. There's a bird yeah, slapping yeah, around yeah, her yeah, head, yeah. She got, she got Jamaicans flying around her head. She about to look like a mummy. <laughs> These Jamaicans, oh. they, they, you know, they, the people are thinking, man, they, they must be scary if they, you know, shooting kids and, you know, lighting clubs up and, you know, uh, uh, out there doing <clears throat> voodoo and everything. No and, the, and the thing is, they would be. They, they would be scary, maybe, if they weren't so goddamn silly. Hey, it's funny, you know. Other man always are telling lies about certain things where make us happy. You know what I'm saying? what you don't want, Travis. You too tough. Now, this looks like a, a drug PSA. It does. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, does. yeah, like at the end, they take off their glasses and just be regular people. Like, yeah. okay, honey, you did well. You passed the test. Right. Yeah, you know, this is, this, oh, these, these dudes are silly, man. <laughs> but, they, but they're led by this dude. They're led by this dude named Screwface. And what? Screwface is so scary that his his henchmen, they would rather kill themselves than rat him out. Find him yourself. <laughs> and I'm thinking, okay, so this Screwface, he must be a bad mother. No, he's the silliest one out of all of them. <laughs> now don't get don't get me wrong, because he got his moments. Cause he'll beat the shit you just for being in his vicinity when he gets mad. Yeah, he's one of those. Kind of things. Hey, man! Oh. <laughs> hey, that dude did nothing. Man, you know when they sat down to play dominoes, everybody was trying to get the seat away yeah. from him, and like, yeah. oh, he's got the bad seat. I mean, my man. What are you mad about? I mean, he was just, he was just looking. They, they they didn't kill the dude, and they brought bad oh. news. And then we didn't kill him, boss. No, no, no. And so he's just kind of like, he really looked around like, who's the closest? Dang it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, what I do? Well, it's funny, he gets the bad news. He kept trying to play dominoes, but then anger was getting to him. Oh, so like, flip the table. Yeah. That's when you get him a lead. Yeah. And then he's kind of scary when he starts doing all that voodoo shit. It's not your body, we want to know. It's your dreams. Because you believe he can kind of do that shit. <laughs> they, that's uh, screw face? Yeah, screw yeah, face uh, right there. The, uh, the fake green eyes. Yeah. But uh, the thing is, it's you know, <coughs> he's got these moments here and there, but most of the time, this dude is just, he's just overacting. Just over the top. If a man commit a crime against you, he must be paid back a thousand times. You know that dude's face is just moist. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> you know it's just wet. 
And I, I'm looking at this, and it's like he's like this all the time, just up in people's face. Shit, I think that's why they call him screw face. Because I think it's like, <laughs> shit, not your face, screw your face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's hit me because he's drilling, this, man. He's drilling yeah. into this man's yeah, face right now. And it's funny because he, he he's overacting, over the top all the time, dresses like he's a. Uh, like he's in a 90s New Jack Swain band. Millie Vanilla. Yes, sir. Yes. Gone Karas. Respect. Respect. No. The Almighty has given I and I his hand. Huh? Even they like, what the f are you talking about? Never mind. Pa 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 da pa pa da pa da pa da. That girl is poison. Poison, poison. Smack it up, flip it, rub it down. Oh, no. Yeah. Um. Shit, the only one that dresses worse than him is Steven Seagal. Mm. Steven, I mean, he makes some like just silly ass costume changes in this movie. I thought I'd visit my mother, you know. I'm retired now. Retired, huh? Damn, retired. cartoon tiger on the back. <laughs> <laughs> like, retired now. Yeah. Now what the f is that? It looked like <laughs> some out of South Park of yeah. Rick and Morty. So I was like, what the hell is that, man? Guess who is insisting on wearing that, even with everybody else saying like. I don't think he should. did. Yes, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, like, like your character really wouldn't be wearing something like this. Yeah, but I like this jacket. Yeah, I don't wear this. Yeah, you're like a little but, boy who wants to wear stupid shit. Mm -hmm. I know, but it's like, yeah, but I like this jacket. Okay, fine, your character wear, but it's distracting to the camera. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but I like the jacket. I don't care. Yeah. And made sure that we all saw that silly yeah, shit mm -hmm. too. <laughs> Proud of it. Now get, now get a shot of me wearing it. Yeah, and you think that he would stop? No, he gets he gets silly. Like, I don't know what this is, but he's proud of it. Oh, he got, he got the, the runway twirl and everything. Yeah. Look at him. Hey. <laughs> like, what, what, is, what is, you got on like a, a bomber jacket and a, and, a, and, a, and a scarf and like, what the hell are you doing? That's better than that jacket. And don't let him get in the room with another accent. Cause they just try to, they just try to bad out accent each other. He gets in the room with this Puerto Rican man right here. And both of them, both of them just, <laughs> oh both of them just try to outdo each other. I know. Who, who's going to win? Yeah. <laughs> DEA will be crawling down our throats long after you've gone. Everybody want to go heaven. Nobody want dead. Yeah, bitch. Oh, boy. <laughs> You've been served. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> you got served. Yeah, that, that <laughs> Colombian dude. It's like he went to the John Voight school of, of, of yeah. Hispanic accents. And my man got these damn Killmonger dots on him in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, it's funny because he's doing this accent. It's really crazy bad accent, and uh, which I don't know. He might be Jamaican. I don't he know. is. He is. So he, he's just doing it. You know, he's spreading it on thick. Yes. Yeah. But there's a point where it sounds like it's, it's, <laughs> the accent is laid on so thick, it just had to take a break. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> you know, there's one part where it sounds like it just left. It's your turn. <laughs> oh, wow. It's oh, your I turn. Guess, I guess union rules. <laughs> the accent is sitting on the side smoking a cigarette. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the accent got tired, man. It's just, I got to take a break, brother. In all fairness, that was clearly ADR. Yeah, no, it was. Yeah, so he it dubbed was. that later on. He might not have been the one saying that yeah. shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what, who was this random white chick always That's his that? sister. Uh, uh, oh, uh, okay. That's, yeah, he sounded like, like somebody brought in Wayne Brady to do his voice. <laughs> It's your turn. <laughs> it's yeah, your yeah, turn. Yeah, <laughs> Steve Seagal. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn. Uh, Got it right. Screwface loves overacting so much that he screws up a chance to kill Steven Seagal. Had, yeah. had him there. And this, and this is funny because he's already, he, everything he does over the top. I mean, this wasn't even necessary. So to kill Steven Seagal, he written, he went and rented a bunch of construction equipment. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I mean, a little unnecessary, but I mean, everybody wants to be the Joker. They That's what do. it comes yeah. down to. He went and rented a dump truck. <laughs> and, 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 a, and a caterpillar. And a, yeah. Right? What do you call them? Yeah, one of them, yeah. I thought it was kind of a badass scene. Well, okay. It looks kind of a cool stunt. Though, wasn't yeah. Yeah. The thing is, he had them. It's like, okay, shit, you got the equipment to kind of a little, you know, a little extra, but you, you, yeah, you, you, it's effective, <laughs> a little extra. but it works. You got him. So crush his ass while you got him in there. But nah, everything got to be theatrics with him, man. Everything got to have, got got to have, got to have flair. Flair, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so he just, he just, he just can't kill the dude. I mean, even when he goes to the car, he's about to like throw this Molotov cocktail in there. And I, <laughs> yeah. and I thought, all right, a little, no pun intended, overkill right now. But if you're gonna do that. Throw it on him. Yeah, because I was at this point, I was like, oh shit, Seagal, how are you gonna get out of this? Yeah, yeah. That's it. Throw that shit on him, man. Even he was like, oh, I'm fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look like well, it. Yeah. End of the movie right here. <laughs> oh, 
jump in the back seat. Oh. Like, right. he, he's looking. Did you not the way? He, I want you to see his expression. Cause this this is also good acting for him too, right here for Steven Seagal. Cause he threw that shit in there. Cause Steven Seagal thought he's oh he's about he said he's I, he's about to light my ass up. Yeah, but right. then watch this. He like fire. He's like seriously. I'm, do you see him? Like, <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, like yeah. hey man, I'm right here. Yeah, yeah. You got me, I mean, man. Okay. I mean, I'm not complaining, but <laughs> yeah. if I were you, I would have. No, 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 never mind, never mind, brother. He said you got me. It's an easy target. Yeah, well, I guess I'll just get out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, the door's yeah, yeah. way too no. You got to make that cool exit. Yeah. So, of course, since this dumbass is gone, he don't see when Seagal, this is back when he was thin enough to crawl through yeah, windows. I know. He, oh! he, could, he could not have done that <laughs> yeah, today. <laughs> today, shit, his ass be blown up. Yeah. <laughs> And then a kaboom. <laughs> then blows you know up. The, nowadays, it just be him going through a regular door. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but this is also the movie where, you know, again, going to these cop cliches, uh, he's so rogue, you know, even, even, you know, whether he's on duty or off duty, he's so rogue that he's just as bad as the criminals. Oh, yeah. Because there's a scene where they, the, the so the Jamaicans, they start <clears throat> driving on the sidewalk, endangering people. <laughs> So, of course, they're criminals. They don't give a shit about uh, everybody else's life. Pedestrians, yeah. You have pedestrians, all that. Mm -hmm. But when you a cop, whether on duty or off duty, you should you should know better than some shit like this. When you a human being. You when you a human being, but this dude, not only, okay, so not only does my man do the same thing as the Jamaicans do, the Steven Seagal, he gets on the sidewalk and just starts running people down, but... Shooting oh into the crowd. <laughs> into the crowd. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, straight up. Man, they were, they, the two of them were killing me with that, firing guns in a, a, a populated area. Oh, it's hell like, yeah. Like, you you got to know better than that. I don't care who you trying to catch. Boy, he just don't care. He's, he don't care. Like, oh, I'm, but I'm, hey, but I'm a rogue. You know, no, I'm, I'm a rebel. No, get the fuck, man. You a bad cop. He's terrible. Only thing worse than his, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Then his disregard for human life is his negotiation skills for co for hostages. Like they they got one hostage and uh, <laughs> listen, maybe in movies this is cool, but this would you you were not supposed to do what you were about <laughs> to see in real life. Yeah, that would get your ass fired. Mm -hmm. Well, get what I almost get your ass thrown in jail. You want to kill her? Kill her. I don't mind if you kill her, you know, because I don't know her at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna push the girl. Hey, I'm like, doing this on glass like, or something. Like, bitch, why you let yourself get captured? Oh, boy, yeah. You do not do that. They tell that's one of the things they tell you in a, in a hostage negotiation. Do not say, yeah, kill him. No, you because they might do it. Right, right. And then that's on you. But you know what? I love it though. So they they chase him into this uh, department store, and they still shooting up the place and everything. But I do love how he beats these Jamaicans mid sentence, like that, like that last guy that he beat. He's like ibbity bibbity bibbity. Yeah, yeah. He he catches another one in mid sentence, makes his ass sound silly too. You see why? We kill your little blood clot. <laughs> blood clot. <laughs> no way, I, was just, I was just over there. Boy, he thought he was going to deliver that line smooth too. Blood clot. Oh. No, blood clot. You see what? We kill your little blood clot. Steve is a guy runs like he throwing water, like, like pennies in a fountain. Yeah. You see what? We kill your little blood clot. <laughs> Let's see here. Shit gets so silly that even Screwface leaves. He's like, I'm out. <laughs> he's like, this, is yeah. like, this is dumb. He's like, once he, once he blew him up, he's like, I'm going back to Jamaica, man. Well, they got that shit together. Uh, but thanks to uh, this good Jamaican cop that they have here, they go, they go to try to find him because this Jamaican cop wants him just as bad. Man, I've been after Screwface for five long years, you see. I want to follow him from Kingston to here, all around. He's like, what? <laughs> Like, damn, I know my acting ain't that good, but shit, I don't know something you just said. Uh, uh, he's got to find him because, well, that cop wants to help him out, so they got to use him to take this opportunity to do it. So they, they disguise these guns as cameras.
which I'm not sure this would work or not. It would not work. No, out of doubt. Yeah, time, yeah, right? yeah. It just get past customs. <laughs> they see shit like that all the time. They be looking for cocaine and go like, oh, there's guns here. Right, exactly. <laughs> Cocaine oh. be flying right past this <laughs> Here's this scene right here where they just blasting this place. Look at these fools. No, no regard for anybody. Look at this. Oh. Dave was in it too. He should know better. All just of them. It it, it, yeah. yeah. It, 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 you know what? They're not hitting each other, so they must be hitting bystanders. Right. Yeah. Because they, 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 yeah, they didn't hit, they didn't hit <laughs> not one Jamaican. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> he should know better. I guess it works to get over to Jamaica, man. And if they look, if they didn't catch him by the by, by the fake ass cameras, and they should have called him by Keith David because he looks like a tourist, like hell, man. Look at this out there, tube oh socks, God, like, man. Oh, cargo damn. shorts, tube <laughs> socks. Hey, uncle, 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 got a fedora on. Yeah, uncle Leroy, I mean, yeah. If they couldn't catch the cameras, then they got had to catch him by his ass because he stands out hard. Well, he also does look like a brother on his first cruise. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, they might be like, oh, there he goes. Look at him. It's food. Yeah. Drinking Mai Tais and yeah. shit. Yeah. He's going to miss his ship. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. That's the only thing. They be trying to catch him off. It's but food. Man, food. Leaving. He's dressed in every... <laughs> he's dressed like every tourist. Uh-huh. Every, he, cliche, every tourist cliche. Every tourist think cliche. Of. He got on a sun hat, a tiki shirt, a tank top, cargo <laughs> shorts, tube and some socks. tube socks. Yep. <laughs> And an eight year old should be wearing that. Yep. Walking around looking at everything slowly. I mean, he should have stood up and they should have got his ass just based on how he's dressed. At the climax, they just want to get things done because they go through things so fast. They do. Just gotta wrap it up, huh? Yeah, they're trying to because they when they start, they go there with all these guns, all these these sniper rifles, and they be they're stealthy for about a minute. <laughs> A I mean, they, what, they take about like three or four of them down. Yeah. Like playing a, a video game. Yeah. <laughs> and then it gets to the point where like when you play a video game, like, Right, like, exactly. Want some action. Yeah, so they just start blowing up shit. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 That fool jumped over the crowd yeah. that balcony. Um, he sure did, boy. Man, and because they want to end things, Screwface, Screwface, his henchmen, they just dumb. They just get dumber by the, you know, mm -hmm. as the movie goes on, man. So these henchmen try to get Seagal, man. And at this point, it might as well be a comedy, man, because they bouncing all over each other. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> He's <laughs> knocking them together. He's yeah. Like, you said boop, boop sounds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's turning to banana splits or something. Damn! Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! I heard that again. <laughs> It's like on a roller coaster. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! <laughs> the big climax takes oh, yeah. place in the rest strike factory yep, right there, it. which mm. I think is where Screwface lives. <laughs> oh, shit. Now that, I, I don't that's, know. I, that, that's a white dude, man. That looks like a Mexican with some dreads on. <laughs> yeah, like a white dude. I, like, I, I really think they hired a Mexican for this role right here. Like, that's what I meant by these Jafakans well, like over here. They ran here. out of Jamaicans. Yeah, they just ran Jamaicans and are, I don't know, they're just like, hey, you, come here. You ran out of black Put stuff. Put this on. Yeah. <laughs> Earlier. Like, look, look at this, man. Look at that wig, dude. Yeah. Like, I'm telling you, man, these are Mexicans. <laughs> these ain't Jamaicans. <laughs> <laughs> he look like he like Danny Trail's brother right there, man. <laughs> look at his hand. Yeah. All that makeup on his hand. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this dude gets bad right here. He might be a real one. <laughs> Down, At bro. least he kicked that one dude. Yeah, that was a cool yeah. kick. That's probably the only time he kicks the whole movie, probably. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Movie got me at the end, man. Didn't it though? It did, cause I didn't I, like. It caught me off guard. I was like, really? Uh, that soon? Damn. He, he cuts off uh, Screwface's head. I thought, well, you know, they really must want to get this over with because they hardly fought. You know, they came in and had a little scuffle and he completely chopped his head off. Yeah, I was like, wow, okay, that, that okay. boss fight was kind of anticlimactic. But hey, you know, it was in yeah. the movie. And I should have known something was up because they picked up that head and that head was number rubber. <laughs> Dead. Dead. That's a mannequin head right there. It's awful. Yeah. The paper mache. Yeah. <laughs> It's like one of them fake voodoo heads you said at a, a hundred houses mm, on you. Right. Yeah. Or a tiki bar or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> tiki bar. Um, <coughs> but here's what got me, because I was like, well, shit, I don't know. I guess they just want to help me get it over with. But then this happens. <laughs> and 
come back overacting more yeah, than yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, 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 yes, it's a me, it's Rufus. <laughs> Just as sexy as ever. <laughs> and crazy as ever. Yeah. You're probably thinking, all right, how did he come back? It's and, and the reason why you haven't figured it out is because it's the explanation is, is, is about as is about as uh, uh, stereotypical and obvious as you would think. This is one of those explanations because I was just like, oh shit! So we're going with voodoo is real and and, and Screwface actually had powers. And then yes. when when he first drops the explanation, I was like, oh. No, that's dope. okay. That's lame. Well, it, they, believe me, y'all, they would have been better going off with voodoo. Yeah, they would have because they because this is one of those explanations that they brought. They pulled out their ass. ass yep. Just I mean, I don't even. This is something you shouldn't even done because <laughs> we didn't have no no clever uh, twist to present this with. Mm-hmm. There wasn't mentioned before. There were no clues dropped yeah. to even indicate that this was the case. And and like I said, it's so obvious and so bad that you're probably not even thinking of it. But now that I mentioned it, yeah, it's exactly what you think. Kill me, brother. No, you're going to wish you was dead. Twin brother. Yeah. Right. Twin brother, there was nothing, no clue at all yeah. to indicate that this dude had a brother. N- no, no. At any point. I mean, the whole thing is, yeah, uh, Screwface, <clears throat> he's, he's so theatrical because he has this legend and all his guys worship him because they think he really has magic powers. But this whole thing that, yeah, oh, it's a twin brother the whole time. Yeah. And yeah, the way it's just kind of tacked on, you're like, for real, y'all? Out of nowhere. So he was running shit with his twin brother? Yeah. Okay. I, I guess. I get, but shit, we don't know because they never mentioned it before. Oh, right. <laughs> they just sprung this on us at the last minute. I will say that it really is his twin brother because his, his head is made about as, as much rubber as his brother is. <laughs> 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 it's oh, oh, yeah. Uh, so S- Seagal, this is funny. We talked about this. Seagal breaks... Screw faces back, but he said, I ain't breaking my back trying to do <laughs> right? that shit. Oh. <laughs> oh, he says, I'm going to pick your ass up three feet off the ground and push you on my knee. Well, no, it, no, no, look, no. it looked like he no, tried. He, tried he, to did walk, that, he did that walk. He did that walk like, 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 like you were moving something, <laughs> moving a shiver over with your boy. Yeah, yeah. You're like, yo, man, come on, move this shit. Yeah, I'm trying to. Yeah. Like he's <laughs> carrying luggage or some shit. <laughs> I tell you, it does turn into a dummy, but he gives it enough time to fall before. And the dummy's yeah. just a real quick shot. You know, most of the time, that dude's trying to fly. Right. And I love it because <laughs> it's also dumb when he broke his back. Oh, he, oh, oh, yeah, 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 clearly. And I like these Jamaicans. Now that they done cl- killed Screwface, they don't know what to do. <laughs> They're still thinking he gonna get up. <laughs> yeah, 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 he got power, man. Yeah, he, he, he all right. Yeah, he's, he's hey, screw, up, <laughs> Mr. Face. Yeah. Mr. Face, wake up, man. Come you, show him, man. Yeah, you okay, man? <laughs> and. <laughs> That's where they they kill Screwface. It's like, well, shit. What else we got to do? Movie's done. They don't feel like wrapping up nothing. Nothing. They just they pick up that dead Jamaican that got stabbed by Screwface's brother. They just carry his ass out the street. Some, <laughs> some, some Jamaican music starts playing, and they just end the movie. Is that Steven Seagal singing? Oh, that could. Oh, it might be you you. Because yeah, I think you're right. We Cause might because he, yeah. he does a song with Jimmy Cliff that's in there. Okay, so I think that's him. Yeah. So we, you know, <laughs> we don't wrap up nothing, but we are taken out by the cool sounds of smooth. Stephen, the smooth reggae sounds of Stephen Seagal. And that's it, man. He <laughs> don't wrap up nothing. I know. Did, did, did Denise live? <laughs> man, who cares? <laughs> yeah, did they do it? She's fine. She's that big-ass yeah, bandage she, on her head. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, did they get the house fixed? <laughs> yeah, his mom. We don't uh, see his mom no more. I know, I know we don't. <laughs> mom is gone. Oh, no. That was that. <laughs> you missed it. When you got the hospital and the and the daughter was, or maybe we were still at the house and the daughter was going crazy. Beating, this is your fault. Oh, I you did. did. I remember that. Yeah. And the mom, she's like, come in. She, the mom kind of looked at him like, you know how she gets. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> you did this. You brought this here. You know how she gets. Yeah, but it's kind of my fault. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, you don't know if they if they reconcile the thing. He says, "Shit, I'm done. Yeah, I kill Screwface. That's all I need to do. I'm gonna pick this dead this dead Jamaican up and put him in the trash, and then we go home." <laughs> <laughs> 
can't live with me, man. We got to throw in the dumpster. Yeah, shit, we can't care about it. <laughs> <laughs> they may find out what we're trying to do. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs>